Hi, in this video we'll see how to create a new custom parametric furniture object using a grasshopper definition. So first of all we will take a look at the grasshopper definition, so we open grasshopper, we open the file, and we can see the preview of this object, in this case a wardrobe, in grasshopper. So we have some parameters that define the shape and the geometry of this object, okay, and on the other hand we have the list of geometry patterns that define each one of the components that will be read by VisualArc for the uh, object style. So, for example, the handles, the leaves, or also some geometry for the 2D representation of this object. So we save the definition, we close Grasshopper now, and let's first of all create the Grasshopper style. So we do right click on the furniture styles, we click on the new style button, we have the option to use to choose a furniture style which uses a blocks for the model representation for a block for the 2D representation in plan views, or we select the grasshopper style. So we select browse button, select the grasshopper definition, click next. Here we define the style name, the definition units, click next. Here we get the list of different parameters, components, and when none of them are set to plan view, that means that the 2D representation of this geometry will be the real uh, section according to the cut plane head where this object is, is situated. But as soon as we change one of these components to the plan representation, this is the one that will be taken for the plan representation. So we click next. Here we get the list of parameters. Each one can be set by definition, that means it will be hidden uh, from the visual art dialogs. And other, other parameters like the depth, the height, width, or the number of leaves can be something that we want to edit by object individually. And the rest will be uh, set by, by a style. We click finish, and here we get the new style. We can define some default values by a style. And number of leaves too. And finally click OK to close the dialog. Now, if we want to insert this element here in the 3D model, we run the furniture command, we select the style we have just created, here we have the list of parameters that were set by style, let's make sure we have the construction plane on the terrace floor, and finally insert here the, the model. So now we can select the object, go to its properties, and change any value. For example, the width to 2 meters, or imagine that we want to make this wardrobe as width as the room, as the room side. So we can pick, in this case, this rule icon and measure it in situ. Okay, we can change the number of leaves. or change the height. Right, now if we take a look at this object in 2D representation, we will see that we need to first select the terrace floor, and we can see here that the representation takes the 2D uh, component that we had in the definition. As soon as we rotate this element, the representation changes to the 3D object. Okay, now if you wanted to edit the style changing the default values, you can do right click on the definition, choose edit, and this just goes through uh, again the uh, wizard to define the uh, style parameters. So we reload the file, click next. And here basically just can select and edit again the parameters by the style. 